skip leg day, mate. Oh, mate. Yeah, Bitcoin, you into helping? I'm not sure. <laughs> just called me, and then now I'm here. What are you doing? Then? Uh, I'm removing guns. We're down at. Where are we? Well, we're at Ethan's house, but. This is Ethan's shed. Where are we? Yeah. <laughs> but Ethan's starting a business, the speed shop. They build custom motorbikes, paint jobs, old cars. I was like, oh yeah, Ethan, want to paint me a car? And he's like, yeah, I'll paint it. I'm like, right, I'm sweet. So we're here. Might have to say this shed's bigger than yours, actually. Way bigger. 12 by 12. So we've got front bar off, all the flares have got to come off, mirrors, tray, lights, snorkel, stripping it right back. Disconnected, it will be. <laughs> yeah. This is the part where you test the tensile strength of what's still connected. <laughs> oh, it's so true. When I put the tub on, I've actually got to cut out this section. Of the tub, yeah. I'll build drawers and stuff over it and I'll water tank it. Oh, shell. <laughs> yep. It's coming. It's caught. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, we're down to the nitty gritty, just the uh, door handles, really, and the indicators. Progress status. Uh, ugly mirror's gone. Oh, he doesn't like the clear views. Nah. You're going to ruffle a few feathers <laughs> saying that. I know, everyone loves them, mate. I don't, I don't get it. It's just ugly. <laughs> Update on the Macmobile. So, cab is pretty well all rubbed down, ready. It took us a little bit longer than what we expected just because the thing was covered in dents. So, fixed all that, primed it up, we've rubbed it all down now. Tried to pull off as much stuff as we can in the engine bay, paint as much as we can over there, try and paint all that, and then I'll pull the battery out. We'll get a coat of paint in there as well. Mac didn't want to pull out the motor, so try our best to put in as much black in everywhere as we can. <clears throat> Pretty much pulled all the interior out, pulled it all out so we can put the car builders insulation stuff down. But yeah, we're gonna put a coat of black over it all anyway, just to um, just to make it look nice. Got it on the stock rims, so a little bit easier to paint it considering this thing says three stories high. We're gonna have to use these trestles, saucers here and make a bit of a scaffolding to try and paint it. Hello. Howdy. How are you doing? Oh, I'm making a mess. Excellent. Good. Pretty fancy, mate. Very fancy. There we go. So, you can't paint too early because the panel temp's cold. Connor was just saying, he's got a heater there. Heat the place up. Preview of what's the film. Okay, we're up at the Dunan today, we're up near Noosa. It's the combi shop, isn't it, Connor? Yeah, mate, yeah. Combi shop? Combi shop, yeah. As you can tell by all the combis. <laughs> <laughs> Wondering how you do this part, hey? Yeah. It actually makes sense now. Yeah, it's the back masker, you throw this on and then you cut it around and take the rest off. This guy, like that. Yeah. Yeah, I hate doing nothing, eh? I can't stand doing nothing. Okay, all taped up, ready for paint. Exciting stuff. <laughs> this is a sandy top for leg cruiser. No more. Just uh, chopping up brand new gardo. Yeah, mate. What the heck? Those safety boots spark rated? Yeah mate, yep, they're 100% uh, 
spark rated. Yeah. Because <laughs> the other snor the other snorkel was alright, but it, you could see like the welds and it was kind of real ripply. So getting a new one, all 2K, and so it's a different shot. Cruiser brain, mate. I got cruiser brain. Yeah. Leave me alone. <laughs> So we just did Jamin's, and it dropped it bloody, yeah, yesterday, it dropped it 30 decibels. Oh, you did the test. Yeah, yeah oh yeah, we did the test. 30 decibels it dropped it. That's pretty serious, though. Crazy. That was no nice speak quieter. I noticed the doors, just to close these doors, it feels like, like a, a car should. Like a nice <laughs> car. <laughs> like it's a heavy, sealed close. Then we got some, uh, you know, finishing touch. Yeah. To um, the bush company, Dino. Yeah. yeah, so he builds he builds mining cruisers in um, South Africa, and he so he pulls the tubs off, puts trays on, brings the tubs back. He doesn't do it too much, but every now and then, like guys will will bring them over for some guys, and so I was pretty stoked with that. So we're gonna have an all black cruiser with tub, which is not too common. There's a single cab done, Kraken. Black. So it's black. It's more of a show car, it's like... You're on the roof too, mate. Wait up top. Make the roof a bit easier. Ah, that's all right. <laughs> well, what, I'm, what I'm thinking is I'm going to lower my seat and then it's going to feel like I'm not so top heavy. <laughs> car won't roll over if you're sitting lower here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right. You've done a nice job, Ethan. Thank you. Coming up very nice. Mate. I don't even know. Finished product here. <laughs> Same to say, went a little overboard. Eh? <laughs> it anyway, I would have just gone rattle can over spray everywhere. <laughs> anyway, so finished product. There's a reason I'm not a painter, eh? Yeah. <laughs> You've outdone yourself, even. So even all the suspension's been done on the body, inside under the. He's what? You can't let it go. You just can't sleep at night if it was not black under here. We're covering absolutely everything that he's yeah. painted black, <laughs> and it's like nah. I'll be asleep at night. Even look how neat he's done the car builders. We're back. We're back. We're back. <laughs> so we're Still back together. Back. Nearly back together. Sort of doing the last bits. I've modified this front bumper. It requires a lot of cutting. I've had to cut there, cut there, re-drill a new hole through that bracket, cut that wing off. Cut back. What about the bull bar? <laughs> really been in much of a bull bar. Right? So we're going to go bumper for a little bit. Yeah, until I want to get a winch and then I'll figure out a bar. Basically the boys up at Noosa finished painting it properly. Just been back at Ethan's here to get put back together. <laughs> Buffed and all that, but we're actually going to take it back to Noosa now quickly for a bit of final... Just some touch-ups. Touch-ups, just... like the bumper obviously needs painting. We thought we'll put it back together and just drive it up there. <laughs> <laughs> After that, it's going down to the boys at Fat Bars. Let's get a new snorkel, because the old one was all rippled and... Oh, and sliders. And then it's coming to my shed and I'm gonna start doing all the 12 volt. All the Red Arc gear. What we got? Red Arc, stereo from MTX. Harrop lockers are gonna go in, they've showed up now, so that's good. Um, and then, oh, and some steady spotties. How are you feeling about that bumper fitment, mate? Oh, mate. Wasn't quick, that's for sure. I've chopped about 80 mil off her. Because this bit is in. It used to be out here. And it was just hideous, so I brought it in. But I have so much so that the spotties will just fill this gap. But then I've also had to chop this part of the bar back this way because of the because of the guard chop in the flare. So I don't want to show you too much, but the tub is on this thing. It's all painted black now. It looks really good. We're gonna do a bit of a proper reveal video, just with the finished products, sliders, bar works, bodies, everything will be finished. That'll be coming up very soon. Ethan and the boys have done an epic job on this paint. Like, I can't really explain Ethan. how good it's turned out. If you're interested in this level of sort of paint job, make sure you hit up the Speed Shop. The boys can sort you out. I just love how these things dry, though. Yeah, it's like a big farm truck. <laughs> There's no snorkel on, so the airbox is snut sucking from the guard. That's all I can hear is this suction noise coming through there. <laughs> 